Hello, my name's Ben and this is Barry. Welcome, and if you're new to this channel, then please make sure you have a look around. But it comes with a warning, this will make you hungry. Yeah, as will this transatlantic feast. Get your like buttons ready. I've got this one in the bag, literally. Pull it off, mate, I've done it. This is it. This is LA's best breakfast burrito. Today, we are, well, we're not in our studio, as you can probably tell. This is much nicer. This is much <laughs> nicer and much more professional. We've been joined by Eric, Tori, and Tom from the React channel, and today we are finding out and answering the age-old question, what is LA's best breakfast burrito? We've been traveling around North Hollywood and Pasadena to try and find the best burritos they have to offer, and we've got three contenders in front of us. You know how this works. Eric has made his pick, I've made my pick, and Barry has made his pick. We're gonna taste them, we're gonna compare them, we're gonna have a lot of arguments, and Tori and Tom are gonna join us Judges. in deciding what we think LA's best breakfast burrito is. Now up first, and leading the way, Barry, show us what you got. So for my choice, we are in North Hollywood, and if you're in the area or traveling through and you're running on empty, this is the place to go for an amazing breakfast burrito and some petrol. Now, before you judge me, this place has made it onto some pretty prestigious lists and its burritos are to die for. I promise. I'm getting beef, beef chorizo and shrimp with all the trimmings. But all the articles I read said you have to go for a surf and turf option of the breakfast burrito. So I've done it. It's a bit more expensive, but I think that's what's going to win this challenge. I've got this one in the bag, literally. Right, Ooh. check out nice slice. that cross section. Ooh. So, yeah. Smells wow. phenomenal. <laughs> okay. I've got a beef and chorizo filling with, now wait for it, I added shrimp for breakfast because everyone tells me what? I have to do that for what? I know. Wait, you got gas station Listen, shrimp? No, 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 no. Can I just go up to the counter and then. ask for stomach flu? <laughs> <laughs> no, please, please, this is not helping me. Cheers, Cheers to burritos. <laughs> We're gonna have to share burrito. Mm -hmm. I'm getting um, a sauce, I don't know what the sauce is. Ranch, it was Chipotle ranch. ranch. Do you, can I tell you what I'm not getting? Go on. Breakfast. Are you not mm. at all? That, that's a burrito, that's not a breakfast burrito. That is an interesting point. I still, I'm, mm. I, I like it, I'm with you. I, I taste the egg, I taste the chorizo. See, I also like feel like certain foods are reserved for different times of the day, so I don't know if I like shrimp in my breakfast. <laughs> breakfast burrito. I would agree. The thing that I find really funny is that shrimp wasn't in there before you asked for it to be in yeah, there. Why? <laughs> A brunch burrito. It's a, br <laughs> it's a brunch burrito. Excellent. And when we film LA's best brunch burrito, we'll maybe add this uh, into the uh, into the mix. Do you want to bring it on then? I would love to. I'm gonna put this burrito <laughs> down, oh. guys. Whoa! Do you know who the real lucky boys are? It's us, cause we get lucky boy burritos today. <laughs> I, annoyingly, I've heard about these. Everywhere you go, people are talking about this place. They are pretty delightful. I'd also like to point out, this wasn't even on the original menu. They added it later on because so many people were making their own breakfast burritos out of the ingredients they had. Okay. Okay. This was a request mm. by the people for the people. They listen to the people. I I appreciate that. Hey, Lucky Boy is in Pasadena, which is the cultural hub of LA. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I believe No, 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 no. Pasadena's great, but call it a cultural hub. Don't forget, we're tourists. We yeah. know we, exactly. We don't exactly. Don't know. Lie to you. <laughs> Mm. I think this is like a classic breakfast burrito. Mm. You really can't taste the shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I like? Is the bacon is so crispy. It mm. has, it's, 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 it's so much texture in there. Usually it kind of clumps together. Mm. But that, like epic. Mm. It's funny, the, the uh, what you can get when you don't go to a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like torn between the one that's different and creative, but then the classic. But it's still a breakfast burrito. This is the most breakfasty mm. burrito. So far, the most breakfasty, yeah. But dare I say it, it's lovely, but it's a little bit boring. 
How dare you say it? <laughs> it's predictable. You got How to dare you? you. <laughs> you insult our burritos. I would like a sauce though on it, or something like that, yeah. like a hot sauce salsa, or anything. salsa. It is. T- oh my goodness. This is oh. in the box. I don't want to do Eric's job for him, but this is in the box. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. Well, we're supposed to try it together then. What's it adding? Oh, it's like a little bit of spice. It has a little mm-hmm. bit of a kick. I like that. It adds more taste to it too. Mm-hmm. I think that's what makes it feel less boring. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> is it fresh taste? I'll have a sip. Yeah. <laughs> like a wine taste. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so far, really strong. Very close battle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would say. So close. Jamie. For my choice, I've come to Burbank, to Corner Cottage. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Is this really the home of LA's best breakfast burrito? Well, every list that I could lay my hands on, LAist, Thrillist, Eater, Time Out, every single one of them has this place on its list. Doesn't get any better as soon as you walk in, does it? But I've got my trust in every review I've ever read of this place. It's not unusual to have to queue for 45 minutes to get your hands on one of the breakfast burritos, particularly at a weekend when the queue is around the block. And they only serve them until 11 a.m. So at 10.30, this place is absolutely pumping. We're here at 7 o'clock on a normal Wednesday morning, and it's still packed full of people. It's amazing. Call it off, mate, I've done it. This is it. This is LA's best breakfast burrito. I don't even have to taste it. I've been here, I've smelt it, I've seen what they're doing. No competition. What you're seeing in here is egg, steak, obviously, hash browns, there's cheese, and also, I asked for the hot sauce, which Ooh. is their speciality, the thing that Ooh. everyone says is so great, Okay. to be inside the burrito rather than on the side. A lot of potato before I've been into mm. it. I was gonna say the opposite. I think that like the proportions, just looking at it, they had it all just perfectly, that everything was pretty equal. But I don't know. Ooh, right off the bat, I taste that hot sauce. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm-hmm. See, but I'm gonna bring back the original point. Is steak really breakfast? Steak and eggs. Yeah. I will say this one too. <laughs> this one has peppers in it too, and like other like little fresher ingredients that I really appreciate. This is a contender. Yeah. It's a contender. It really is good. I'm really torn now between all three of the options though, because I feel like they were all different, but they were all under the category of breakfast burrito that I don't know where I fall. Well, there is one other way that we can help make our decision. Okay. Money. <clears throat> I- Money. <laughs> <laughs> Let's guess how much we think Barry's mm. yep. gas station yep. now bear in mind, burrito. Bear in mind, I've also got some chips of mine mm-hmm. and a oh. free drink. Whoa! Oh, I know. I know. Well, was it free if it's included in the total though? You tell me. Mm. I would like the price to be like nine dollars. Like I feel like just under ten, just because it comes with chips, a drink, and the burrito, and it's not that complicated. So it's I'm like nine dollars. I think is good. I say I'm gonna say ten eighteen <laughs> after tax. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking it's over eleven with the shrimp. Oh, I don't want to guess. It's fine. It's <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say nine dollars. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. So with the shrimp and all the extras, it was nine seventy. Oh, hey, whoa. Nice. without nice. the shrimp, it's six seventy five. What? Oh. I would not trust that burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's lucky boy burrito. Sorry, what do you reckon? This one did it definitely had the least mm. amount of ingredients. It was just eggs, bacon, potato. So I want to say five dollars is what I'd pay for that too. Especially. What? Five dollars. It's basic. That's Tom, what do you reckon? I'm gonna say like. 11.25. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, Whoa. I'm saying it's expensive. Got that bougie burrito. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in the middle and say about eight dollars. I think eight dollars is yeah, probably, okay. yeah, probably about okay. right. Can you really put a price on happiness? Yeah. <laughs> How much is it? <laughs> you can, it's 7.99. Oh, 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 that's way cheaper than I thought it was gonna be. Well, shall we come on to the steak special? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How much do you reckon I paid for it? I think this one was the most Complicated of the burritos? I'm gonna say eleven dollars thirty cents. Six fifty. I'm gonna say seven seventy four. <laughs> I'm gonna say seven seventy three. Dang. Oh, small. Price yeah. is right. Yeah. You yeah. Know. <laughs> I got higher then, but I'm okay. I'm happy to tell you that the steak breakfast burrito from Corner Cottage. 
cost me a total of six dollars and ten cents. Wow! Even the gas station one. Yeah. What? With steak. Without the steak, if I'd gone for ham or sausage, it was like five dollars fifty. The winner of my choice. <laughs> Of my palate. I'm gonna have to go with the steak one. The steak one, I'm oh, sorry. God, you it was cheaper than every burrito, and I feel like the flavor was comparable. Personally, <laughs> I went for my choice because I love shrimp and I love avocado and I love brunch burritos. So I'm sticking with my brunch burrito. You got <laughs> so it. Brunch burrito. I have to. I have brunch to. burrito. Uh, no question in my book. Steak breakfast gotcha. burrito. Mm. It's the winner. See, I'm not picking mine because it's mine. I'm picking mine because mine is the winner. <laughs> <laughs> so it literally comes down to me and Tori again. Okay. Come on, Tori. Will it end in a tie? Honestly, I have to give it to the steak burrito. Yeah! It was great! Yes. <laughs> All of them were good, but I just think the steak burrito had the most to offer. I agree. And now there is a really, really, really good chance that we missed some amazing mm -hmm. breakfast burritos. There's every chance. In <laughs> every county in LA other than Burbank or Pasadena or yep. West Hollywood. So please comment down below. Let us know which ones have we missed. What would have been your pick out of these three? Guys, thank you very much. Now, if you want to go check out me and Jamie suffering doing a chili eating sushi contest thing, then go to the React channel and check it out. It is painful. It is so seriously, painful. Seriously. Well, and don't forget, of course, to keep coming back every Wednesday and Sunday because we'll be here sharing more awesome food recipes. If you are subbed, make sure you tick that little bell next to the subscribe button because some of you are saying you're not being notified when we upload. Yeah, thanks algorithm for screwing up our livelihoods. Well, it's not just it's not just the algorithm. I quite like the algorithm. No, it's, it's always full. I'm a big fan I'm of the algorithms. Of everything. As we mentioned, Sorted is just run by a group of friends, so if you like what we're doing, then there are loads of ways that you can support us and get more involved. Everything you need to know is linked below. Thanks, and see you in a few days. As will this transatlantic me feast. Get a like button's ready. Meal, feast, feast. Clever.